welcome. This is a relationship reading for August. It's for any relationship. We're going to have a little look what is going on. Um, I've already done the Twin Flame and the Soulmate readings for uh, August. So I'm going to make up a new folder so that you can find all the collective tarot readings for August in an August file. Because I thought that might be more helpful. Um, so I'm going to start doing that. Um, and yeah, we're going to go into it. So just um, thank you for subscribing. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for giving the video a thumbs up because it does help it to reach more people. And yeah, we'll just go into it. So um, Spirit, please show us what is going on for this relationship. And it is any relationship in your life that is significant. Asking Spirit to show us what will be happening in August. <sighs> Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. That's a very nice start. Okay. Mm. Miracles. <laughs> this is the card of miracles. Uh, beautiful, beautiful energy this is. And it is a miracle energy. So, hmm. Could be very interesting in August. Miracles could be occurring. Um, let's have a look. Oh. <laughs> I, I should know the layout by now, but I'm dizzy. I'm a ditzy type of person, so I still I haven't memorised it. I haven't even tried to memorise it, but my mind just doesn't hold information like that, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so I'm going a bit deeper. What's been going on for this relationship? Okay, three of wands. So there's been um, a sense of looking forward and seeing the route that you're going to go with this relationship and feeling hopeful, you know, feeling pretty good because this is a yes from the tarot. Um, it looks like this relationship actually could be moving forward in a more positive way in August. Well, recently, actually, because this is recent past. Um, now, the stars have been aligned. It's like something is coming together for you. Um, okay, this is definitely something coming together for you with somebody here. And it's still very much in the early phases. It's still very much the beginning, but it looks like you will be able to go far <laughs> okay, with this person. With the star card, it's a yes from the tarot. It's wishes fulfilled. And it really does tie in with this energy from this miracle card. So, what is going on in August? <laughs> You're not going to believe what's come out. The lovers. So, the lovers, it is a, it is a crossroads. It, you could be faced with a crossroads in August between two paths, two, two ways that you could go with this person, right? And um, so this could be very, very interesting. Now, it's not going to be your typical uh, run of the mill type of relationship. This is all situation if it's a situation. Um, now, another card just fell out, which I'll explain in a minute. But you've got here the four of uh ones right so things in august look very interesting there could be decisions needing to be made choosing between two different paths um now four of ones means success but it is delayed success so <laughs> this may have taken quite a while to come into your life or it may be that you're still uh you know, waiting a little bit in August, but I feel uh, an opportunity is definitely presenting in August, right? And um, 
this opportunity is going to be a good thing because the four of wands it doesn't matter if it's upright or whether it's reversed it's always a good card to get and it indicates um a commitment okay uh, it may not be marriage and it may not be conventional so you may be going into a situation in august that is not necessarily a conventional situation but it's long term and it is successful it's just been delayed and it is the choosing between two paths and there is the lovers card there so it can indicate uh you know uh passion you know <laughs> so this is interesting uh the, the coming together of two people let's say in the lovers card now the other thing that comes through is the king of cups so in august we do have our spirit codes very very close because the king of cups represents um King of Cups represents spirit guides being close and guiding us, okay? Now, so that is very, very nice. Um, they are guiding you so that you do make the right decision. And, that you know, I feel spirit close by with the two of you or, let, let's face it, we can watch readings on YouTube and we can correlate them to other situations in our life. And that's fine because I always say, take whatever you can take. There could be different messages within a reading. Um, so whatever situation you're thinking about in August, where there may have been delays, delayed success, but it comes. Um, recently, there's been some good news or there's been a bit of progress, but it's kind of been the beginning phases and it's been like, Okay, it looks like, it feels to me like the stars are aligned. It feels like spirit is on our side, bringing us together or bringing me this opportunity. It's just taken a bit longer. And yes, that is the um, the confirmation that yes, spirit has been on your side. Spirit has been protecting you. Spirit has been guiding you. This is spiritual protection as you go into a, a connection with somebody or a new opportunity um, and um, it's good. Now, the person you think about, <laughs> this person is fiery, okay? <laughs> They've got king of wands. This is somebody who's very passionate. They're very hard working. When they're passionate about something, they work very hard and um, they're willing to take risks as well. Now, um, this person wants to offer you something in August, okay? They're gonna want to offer you something and it's it's something that will boost you up. Um, and like I said, this person's fiery. Um, ooh, we're coming out with the King of Pentacles as well. It sort of came out in the challenge position. It's almost like this person's been holding back. They've got the golden coin in their hand and it's been challenging for them to actually give you what they've got uh, for whatever reason. Um, they've had something that they could give you, um, but they haven't been able to give it to you up until August. It looks like in August that they want to actually do that. Um, now, what does this person think about you? Oh, my God. They've got King of Swords, right? So this could be a Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. I really don't like saying that, to be honest with you. I don't know if you noticed, but I never, ever bring star signs into the readings because the amount of readings I watch on YouTube and they say, it could be a Gemini, it could be an Aries. And then they come out with all these star signs and I'm always thinking that. It's not none of them that you're saying. Um, but anyway, look. Um, it's King of Swords and basically how they feel about you, that this person's cold. <laughs> They've been trying really, really hard to hold their feelings back and be quite businesslike, to be honest with you. They would have definitely been treating you in a very businesslike manner um, because of the fact that I do think they feel very aligned to you. Look at that. I mean, they feel very aligned to you and... They've been holding their feelings back uh, and trying to just treat it like a business transaction. Um, if this is something to do with a different situation in your life and you're just watching this reading to just see if you can get any information, um, there's somebody here that holds the, you know, holds the power 
and um, they do treat things very businesslike, but they do see things going very much in your favour. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a devil card. You know, this person's got an addiction to you. They've got some kind of addiction to you or some kind of hold. Um, you know, it's like... Um, they think about you obsessively. They think about you a lot. Um, they've now, if that's not the case, this person's got some kind of mental health problems. Uh, but I just think they they tend to hold back on a mental level and come across very cold because they know how addicted they can get. They know how obsessive they can get. Um, they want to hold themselves back. Um, uh, if this is something to do with a different situation in your life uh, this person uh, they don't like to treat things very business like do things by the book um, this person's been holding back an opportunity I think they're going to give it to you in August uh, I think something's going to happen to tip them it's like a tipping point of energy and they won't, they'll find it hard to stay really cold. Um, now, how do they feel? They've been trying to move on from something that really hurt them. Uh, they went through something that is difficult and it's hard for them to walk away. That I feel for some people, it's like they were walking away from a past ex or a situation like that. Um, for others of them, they could be trying to leave a situation now and they sort of have a bit of a heavy heart. They have a bit of a heavy heart about walking away and they it's hard. Um, they've got the strength card reversed. So, yeah, they haven't been strong enough. This person has not been strong enough to move forward from their past. <laughs> OK, they found it really hard. Um, so the other thing is this person might suffer with addictions or impulsive behaviour. And they, they allow their addictions or their impulsive behaviour to rule them, you know. And, um, well, that's not good, is it? You know, it's it's like they get addic very addictive. I mean, to have the devil card and the strength reverse. You're dealing here with somebody that has got addiction problems, um, you know, or obsession problems or mental health problems. And... They probably self-medicate through obsessive type of behaviours or addictions. You know, escapism, that type of thing. Because <laughs> strength card in reverse it can indicate that. And the devil card as well. The two cards coming out with the same sort of energy. Um, and that's why they're very cold towards you. That's why they've been holding back their pentacle. Uh, because, you know, this person doesn't want to... Um, let they, they know how addictive they get they don't want to let they want to try and maintain this business like coldness um now tower oh my god how do they want to move forward tower look at that jesus okay so august is going to be a very interesting month there's no doubt about it this is going to be a very interesting month in august to get the tower card there's going to be some sort of shocking news in august <laughs> death card my god <laughs> tower to the death jesus hold on to your seats for august <laughs> that is going to be shocking something is going to be very very shocking and there's going to be an ending with a new beginning tower card it is a shock something shocking happens and basically it's so that somebody can rebuild their lives up better, you know, more in truth, more authentic. And um, somebody's going to be forced to do things differently because the way they've been doing things hasn't been working. End, end of death, end of. You can't carry on doing things the way that you used to be doing them because it isn't working. So they have to start up a new path. And they're being guided by spirit to do this. Now, what's hidden that you don't see is the justice card. <laughs> justice card. Amazing. 
uh, look at that. You deserve so much more. And you don't know at the moment, but you are headed towards justice being done for you. I feel you've paid back some sort of karma. I feel like there was karma that you needed to pay back. <laughs> Amazing. Look at the card that's just come out. Paying back karma. Look, that golden coin. You've paid it back. You've done it. I feel you've been paying back karma for a reason, for something where the karmic balance was wrong. And you've had to go through some trials, right? You've had to go through some trials. Now, Spirit is saying that through these trials, you were being protected. You were being protected. Um, but, you know, it wasn't easy at all. And you've had to deal with somebody that, you know, has the devil. <laughs> you know, they've had, they've got their own demons and you've been dealing with that. Now, they've let their demons sort of get the better of them and they've sort of been quite impulsive and addictive with the things that they've done. They're trying to move forward from that. And in August is going to be a massive pivotal month for this relationship. Um... You know, it's interesting because the other other relationship readings I do, the soulmate and the twin flame, they can all be about different people or you may feel that you sort of resonate with all of them about one person. Um, you know, and the, the, the soulmate one really was saying that, uh, you know, your person is basically going to respect you more by the end of August. And I think they will. I think they will respect you more by the end of August and they are going to realise that, that the way they've been handling things is not going to continue like that. It's not going to work. Um, and it's going to super frustrate them because they've, they're have they trying to be so cold and businesslike, but it's not going to work and they're going to have to do something differently. But you've been doing very well here and you've paid back your karma to me, that's what it looks like. And spirit is kind of saying, look, you've done really well. <laughs> you've faced your demons. You've been purging. You've been, you know, I know all of us collectively on this channel, that's the work we're doing all of the time. <laughs> if you watch this channel regularly, it's particularly if you watch these collective readings as well. You know, we, we are actively working on our energy every day because that's what I'm doing. That's why it's Awakening Tarot because we're trying to awaken ourselves out of a very lo low place where we had a lot of dense energy, we had pain body, we had a lot of mind patterns, we had a lot of ego because of traumas we've been through, because of karma we brought into this life. And, we, you know, that's why I'm here. That's why we're all here is to, to release all that old karma, to release all that old pain body so that we can embody our true nature. And this is kind of confirmation from the spirit that by August we will have really cleared out so much of that pain body and so much of that uh all those mind patterns and it's like really good news because it means we you know a miracle is starting to occur we're starting to transcend the old timeline that we were on from childhood which was you know low energy a lot of karma a lot of pain body we, we came out of childhood with so many mind patterns that were very negative that was inherited from our parents or caregivers and you know we're learning to transcend all of that and that is confirmation from our spirit guides that we from tarot that you know we've done bloody well we've done bloody well uh pat yourself on the back because we, we've been doing the real work here and you know we have been we have been uh, doing what we needed to do so um the advice from spirit is very good. Um, there is long-term prosperity and abundance here for you. Um, there could be a family legacy or money coming from family. Um, also soul family, very connected across Gaia for you. Um, you know, this is a very good card to get. Um, this is long-term connections. Um, it's like spirit is saying, try not to be making loads of new connections at the moment. Um, meet people, talk to people, but keep your main circle small. You know, the people that you share, your main part of your life, keep that small. If you're meeting people and just having, you know, that's fine. 
but you know like your main core is strong is long-term people um so it's a sign as well that this connection is long term um don't give up <laughs> don't give up because this is um about sort of feeling a bit fed up but you're going to get the results long term in reverse it just it's like spirit is saying like for god's sake don't give up it, uh, it's because something's massively changing in August. Ha, oh, look at that. Freaking hell. I just dropped them cards. King of Pentacles. Somebody's going to give you something really valuable in August. And it's coming after shock. It's coming after something really shocking happening. Um, and uh, it, you come out with a very good result. This is the last collective reading relationship wise for August and all of the readings have been very interesting. Somebody's going to be making a decision by the end of August here. Two of Swords, that is unable to make a decision because of fear. That is making a decision because you faced your fears and rising out of it with a golden coin that you're going to give to somebody. So somebody is definitely going to be um you know offering something by the end of the month <laughs> and it's solid it's long term it's coming after a lot of shock a lot of change realizing that things can't stay the same because it's just not there's no way this relationship is going to stay the same or this situation is going to stay, stay the same it cannot stay the same you know, and that's probably why it was all the other two readings. Uh, I mean, the Twin Flame, I'm trying to think what the Twin Flame one was now. Uh, from what I remember, I think it was saying that the Twin Flame's still stuck in their um, la-la land and their addictions and they're not really realising what they're doing. And it's hard for them to see the way that they are, they are sort of like distracting themselves with with either addictions or kind of obsessions. Um, and they're doing it because they don't want to face their emotional issues. They've got emotional intimacy issues and they don't want to face it. And that is somebody who's emotionally avoidant. And they're, they're running around in circles doing stupid things. And it's silly because the whole time they've got feelings for you. This whole time they've got feelings and they're really thinking about contacting you. They're really thinking about how that they want to see you and they want to progress things again. But they just... They, they're so caught in a loop of distracting themselves. And, I, I'm, and I'm not convinced the Twin Flame's going to step forward in August. Uh, that when we did that reading, I wasn't convinced uh, that that person would. Because it feels like they're still on this loop of distracting themselves. And then the, the soulmate, uh, no, the, yeah, the soulmate reading was saying, you know, it's all about, August is all about us staying in our power. Being, almost being like a king of swords, almost being quite harsh and saying, look, you know, fine, do what you want then, because this is me, this is my life, and I'm going to do what the hell I like. I'm not going to um, people please you anymore. And um, this is where I stand on the matter. You know you're important to me, but also I'm important to me as well, and I'm going to carry on with my life and do the things that need to be done. And it's quite shocking for your person to watch you do that, and they will respect you more by the end of August. And now this relationship reading is showing that because I think what they're realising is August kind of comes around that, you know, Jesus, like this person's not, they're not messing about. <laughs> we're, we're not messing about because we've done so much internal work on ourselves now. I'm not going back to who I was two, three years ago. No way. No way, because I've, I've found myself now and that's what this awakening journey is all about, us finding ourselves, you know, and realising that we don't need these people, we don't need these twin flames or soulmates or whatever relationships they are. We don't need them uh, to validate us because we already, we, you know, we've found ourselves, we've validated ourselves through spirit. You know, and that's what the real awakening is about. That's what all of these relationships do for us. They help us, they help us to purge 
and they trigger us so that we can find ourselves because we can't rely on them. They haven't done what they needed to do. We were giving everything to them and we're not going to keep doing that because now we've realised all the time we were giving to other people, it was really just a mirror from God, from spirit, that we should have been giving to ourselves. You know, so we don't need to rely on them for that attachment anymore to make us feel stable because we've found our own stability inside ourselves. And that is the true awakening process. That's really what this, this whole channel's about. And if you've got a twin flame or a soulmate in your life or a family member that's really difficult or a friend that's really difficult, that is what the journey is all about. You know, it's not just to reunify you with that person. It's actually really to reunify you with yourself. Because once you've got yourself, that's when everything will get added on to you. And what it looks like, you know, through those readings that we've done already for August, Twin Flame Soulmate and now the relationship, the whole thing looks like it's gearing up to this person realising that you, you're not messing about. You're not changing yourself now. You really do mean business and you are so committed to yourself now. And Spirit is just saying in August, do not give up. Do not give up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Don't drop into negative, negative mind patterns because you may see your person almost giving the impression they're going to turn their back on you. Almost giving you the impression that they're more interested in their addictions, obsessions or hobbies, whatever. And they're going to try and give you that impression because deep down, this person is screwed. This person is screwed. They've got the devil card, they've got the strength card reverse, and they've got the death card and the tower. You know, that on paper, they're, they're in a great position to offer you something really good because you find this person, uh, you know, this person, you know, they've got a lot of lot going for them. They have got a lot going for them, you know, and then... Um, They've, they are also quite a prominent person. You know, they're quite a prominent person. They've got certain skills. They've got certain attributes. And, you know, there is obviously a bond. Because to have the star card and the lover's card, this is a very prominent person in your life. This is, this is really divinely guided, this connection. And, you know, this person is actually being very brutal with you they've been very brutal and they're really really hiding how much they actually do need you and it's a joke actually <laughs> if you want my honest opinion it's a joke what they're doing is a joke because they need you that much um but anyway so don't give up because where they're giving you that impression it could drop you into negative mind patterns as you're going through the rest of July and into August. You might just be feeling like, Jesus, you know, this is just going to rack and ruin. But what Spirit is showing is uh, really don't give up because, you know, you've been doing all the right things to heal yourself. I know I have, you know, I've been healing myself massively <laughs> um, to to sort of awaken myself back to who I really am. And that's that's the journey we're on, is to finding out who we are and taking the focus off this person in our life because it's not about them anymore. We went through all of that before when everything was about this person, but it's not. It's been about us finding ourselves. And that is very empowering. That is the awakening journey. And now we've kind of got ourselves to that point where we are... We know who we are. We know how we live our life. And now all we've got to do is just keep embracing it every day, you know, just living it every day. And sometimes it's hard because sometimes you wake up in the morning and you can feel a bit alone and you can feel pain body come up and you can feel negative mind activity come up and you sort of think, oh, here we go again. You know, I, I've been saying it to myself lately, like, why, <laughs> why is this happening to me? Because I've got a good life. I've got a very good life at the moment, you know, and so why am I dropping into this ego, uh, you know, waking up feeling like that? Because I don't need this person because I've actually got a great life and I've got, I've found myself, I know who I am and I know the way I'm living my life. But it's amazing how deep rooted those mind patterns are, isn't it? And that ego is just so persistent. It persistently wants to take you into a negative place you know, and, and it's like, well, anyway, spirit is definitely saying don't give up because you've been doing so much good work. There's so much good progress here. The stars are really aligned here for you 
okay they are so do not give up in august don't allow your mind to take you into a negative place as you go through the rest of this month and into august because the end of the month is coming and this person's going to step forward with an offer it's going to be real because they realize they cannot carry on the way things are okay things have to change and things are going to change in august uh, I feel you will get a solid offer from somebody and it's going to be a good offer. You know, it's going to be good. This is stable. I feel the stars are aligned. It's divinely timed. You've been protected by spirit. You've been facing all of these demons and obstacles. And what's actually happened off the back of it is you're stronger and you're more abundant and you're more prosperous because of it. You're more centered. You've got a more attractive energy. You know, because you're not chasing and needy, you're actually centered in spirit, in yourself. You found yourself, you know, because I know I have. And that is why they're now realizing, oh my God, like this is, if I just sit back, you know, this is not going to go anywhere. I'm going to lose this person completely, you know, um, or the universe is basically saying, look, this person's done all this good work. And now it's time for them to reap the rewards. So you will reap the rewards and you're going to get a really good offer, you know, either from this person or somebody else. But there's, I'll tell you now, there is a good offer coming in and somebody's going to be finally making a decision that they had a dilemma over. And they're going to take action and face their fears. So you're that this is going to be something very, very stable and solid. OK, so that's the message i'll stop there quite quite interesting and when you have got that miracle card and it does say about blessings of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires um if you want a reading do contact me it's the summer i know people are off doing different things but you know <laughs> we have to keep this channel going so if you do book in i really appreciate it i'm sending you lots of love and peace as well um, and thanks for also subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up because that does help me as well. So peace.